Hello. We all get toothache. And whether you liked it or not, at some point, you will find yourself sitting on a dentist chair. Now, other than the pain, discomfort, and the ripoff you're about to get, have you ever thought, how clean is that environment? Well, apparently, it's not clean enough. You see, people have been acquiring diseases following a dental visit. These diseases are being transmitted among patients through the dental device. This dental chair that you sit on is equipped with a network of pipes and tubes that, in addition to water, will carry bone, saliva, tissue, and whatever went through that patient's mouth, which includes a long list of bacteria. Now, getting inside that device, there's a lot of surface area, there's good temperature, and there's lots of food, which makes that an optimal environment for the bacteria to grow in. And when bacteria find itself in an, in an optimal environment, they decide to build a camp. They like it there. So bacterial cells will aggregate together, they'll attach themselves to the pipe wall, and then they will secrete a slimy layer to protect them from harsh environments, such as the chemicals we're going to send there to get them. So you send in your chemicals, they kill the bacteria in the water, but the ones living in the biofilm are intact. Bacteria living in a biofilm formation is 1,000-fold more resistant to chemicals. So what do we do? Now, we said that you, cannot use you can use chemicals, but they're not effective. There have been several attempts of people who tried to stop the bacteria from getting inside the device. But to make a long story short, they couldn't. Bacteria is sneaky. They always find a way to get in there and populate. So a new out-of-the-box idea was, we're going to fight fire with fire. And what's better to get bacteria other than another bacteria? I am using a cannibalistic, but yet non-pathogenic bacteria known as Bacillus subtilis. Bacillus is a soil bacteria. By cannibalistic, I mean they do eat other bacteria. They're vicious. They don't, they don't allow anything else to live next to them. And by non-pathogenic, I mean they're harmless. They have no business with us. They will enter and exit our body without causing us any harm. I send in the bacillus inside the device, and I ask it to occupy the pipe walls. By doing that, I leave no space for the bad bacteria to grow in. And if the bad bacteria find a way to make it inside the device, our guys are there protecting the walls, and if they try to attach them, they will eat them. By doing that, we protected the patient, we protected the device, and we also protected the environment from the huge loads of chemicals that are being dumped every day. Thank you very much. <laughs>